So can electric eels really electrocute themselves? And what would happen if you were to actually touch one with your bare hands? Well, they can produce over eight times more voltage of electricity than your household outlet. This is around 860 volts, enough to absolutely overcharge any medium-sized crocodile and instantly disconnecting their soul from their bodies. But is it really enough to send you or me to the shadow realm as well? Well, not really, but human fatalities do indeed occur, as multiple shocks can cause heart malfunctions. But it's not really the shock that you usually gets the job done. It's the fact that you can pass out and get lost in the water, rendering oxygen consumption impossible. If you still feel like you absolutely have to try this, I recommend a smaller one, as the bigger the eel, the bigger the shock. And electric eels can indeed actually shock themselves, which is incredibly ironic. Apparently, they move in such a way that they almost never let their body cross paths. And if they do cross, it's usually not fatal, as the shock is, for the most part, meant for smaller fish. But if they happen to touch themselves while under threat, it's instantly lights out.